to do shit on his own. Right? Huh? <laughs> Is that what? It, come on. Let me hear it. Are you pulling your Peter down there? What are you doing over there? I'm fixing my condom here. Your condom's too long? Yeah. He's cutting his condom down. My that. pecker's too short. There you go. Okay. He left me a little fun project over here. He's putting that fitting up under there that I finally got to start. Now I gotta tighten it up. He didn't clean out the oil tank either. Luckily, it looks like it's pretty clean. I didn't get it from V Twin. That's why it's clean. Let's see, was it worth that extra money we paid for it? kind of tight over there thinking it probably gonna leave it what do you think yeah, if that leaks it's your fault I'll take blame take full responsibility yeah that's what you keep claiming all right so we're using these high flow Gardner Westcott fittings instead of those crappy ass import ones that I get a little real cheap you only put the cheap one on here did you huh you what? want the expensive one right Oh, of course. Only the best, this pig. Just making sure you don't want to get that $3 one instead of the $8 one. <laughs> Whatever these things cost. Okay. We got our lot of glue on there. There you go. There's that. So if you take your deep well full, deep well sock, and you put your nut in there, then you put your fitting on there, it works out just perfect. Look at that. This one here, we got better access to. Except we don't start. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have great access, it just doesn't go in the hole. Great. Where'd you get this tank from? Uh, I don't know, that's the second one, remember? Yeah, I know. This was the better of the two. All right, it doesn't fit. Wonderful. suppose they would make these things not correct size holes here, do you? Never. Somebody's sneaking in. All right, we'll be back. We got to figure out how to make this work. See, it puts you beating on that chrome with that hammer again. I want to see that. I'm just taking after someone else I know that beats on things. Nobody, oh. Nobody's ever going to believe that he did that. <laughs> There's the evidence there. Look at that hammer sitting there. <laughs> hey, John. Okay, this this hole up here does not want to work, so I got my tap out here. So we're gonna go in here and try to tap it out a little bit. Oh. Figure out okay. what the hell the problem is with it. All right. I have to have a little socket to drive it. So you can find me a socket. That's gonna be over there someplace. Tap, jap, socket, don't like each other. I have a fixing tool. Okay. All right, buddy. Yeah. All right, John. Well, uh, I guess they're man. It's That's only sideways now a little bit. What? I don't get it. Ah. I don't know. There we go. It went under that time. Now it's straight. Of course, now it'll probably never come off. <clears throat> All right, we need a tool to run it. Tools over here. 
Okay, let's get back over here. Okay, okay, John. Thanks, buddy. Right. Try to make this work. Starting to grab a hold of something, but I couldn't give you, couldn't tell you if that's square or not. Uh, I can pretty well see it's not. It should be over here. There we go. I think that's the spot. What do you think? Yeah. You mean it wasn't? It wasn't right from the factory? No, it wasn't right. This is not bucking the tank either doing this. It's not putting, it's putting no chips into the tank either. Yeah. Never. There's no particles at all went into that tank doing that. None. Mm -hmm. you want to do that? Yeah, it's good. Now, if you blow in here, it should come out there, hopefully. And that is a high flow system. You should clean the tank out now, don't you? Yes. That's what's not happening. Hmm. Well, that's one whole thread holding that thing on there. It ain't gonna be enough. I don't think we need more than one thread. No, that was half a thread. You think you want more than half a thread holding your tank on? I do. Mm. I'm afraid you're going to say that. All right, I need a big crescent wrench. What do you got? You got that one right next to me. That's not a big one, that's a little one. <clears throat> Here's a big one. Maybe just a little one. Okay, that's bottomed out. So you can't see what I'm doing. I'm butchering it. See how I'm holding that? Here, video guy. You know, you're doing a lousy job. Thread. I'm not even sure if that half a thread is even in there. No, I think we need more than half a thread. So between the chrome fitting and the chrome oil tank, we have no threads. Hmm. That's why we have a special cut down socket. Trying to break my camera there. So I'm gonna try this one. Well, that went in a full turn before it locked up.
Okay, how are you gonna get this out of here? Someone beat it on with a hammer. That wasn't you? I'll have to go to the tap evacuation site. It'll be over here called a lathe. So we're gonna hold this in the lathe <clears throat> so I can pull the socket off. Screwdriver. screwdriver and stick it in there and work it off. Boom, it's off. Okay, now we can beat on this one on the other one and use it if it needs to be. and jump going here. Is that door getting cold out there yet? Huh? Is that door getting cold out there yet? There's no more heat. Okay, so I'm gonna try this on this tap, see if it fits. Ooh, it fits on that tap. That was a good tap. We'll be back. Okay, I finally got the fitting up on the oil tank here now. We're cleaning the tank out, throw the tile up under here. Just kind of catch anything that's extra in here. Shit came out. Looks pretty clean. Looks clean on this side. Here. Yeah, it look like looks like it's nice and clean in there. Yeah. All right. So we got this to go in about. We got about three and a half, four threads. We got that one to go in. So now the tank's ready to put on a bike, sir. Okay, now we're switching over the front fender here. What we're doing is we're bending the brackets here because the fender, these here are at different angles and what the bracket is. So we're kind of making it so it all fits right. And then we gotta get our offset over here where it needs to be also. That's the next problem. Now what's keeping this side up in the air higher than this side? It's just sitting there right now. It's kind of in the bind with the brackets. Okay. All right, let's get the Let's get these two here in the bike. Okay. So let's use that reamer down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ream the hole out here a little bit. All right. Because these weren't lining up. Okay, that one seems to go right in there. Okay, so where's the, give me one of the short pulls for here. One that Alan I gave you right here. Okay, what do we got for the nuts? Um, Where's the mock-up nuts? These were fine thread, weren't they? These are coarse thread now. Okay, we need to get some fine thread mock-up nuts. Seven sixteen, so uh, combination wrench. Get one out of the bucket over there. It's right here in front, right there. Okay, so put that on in there. Put your finger behind it, at least as much as you can. Slide it in there. I'll try to get this started. It'll probably be a tight fit in there anyway, no matter what. Yep. Will it even go in there? There, stop right there. I 
don't think it's coming out. Oh, we're not going to get it out. <laughs> it ain't going to come out. I just... Okay, pull it out. Pull it out. It's got to be on the open inside. So flip the wrench over if you can. That'll help hold it in better. Yeah, but it's... I'm not going to get in there at all. Well, somehow we got to get in there to hold it. Just thinking we're going to use a magnet. We're in. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so I have that light tension on it. We're good. Okay. Now this hole here doesn't line up, see? It's off a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I need to go down just a little bit with it. Okay. Another one. I see the reamer doesn't put a hole in the tire. See it's flat bottomed. Okay, where's that wrench at? Okay. It's not going there very well. Oh, careful. Listen, I've scratched it on. Oh, that's the one that has to be up. Okay, so we're going to have a problem with the offset. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold it up where you want it to be. Is that where you want it to be? Nope. That's about where. God damn it, I fucked that up. Oh. God. Don't hold it, just get it close. Just hold it there. Don't. What are we doing over here? You gotta get two holes in here. brackets can be bent down. Once we get this in here we can bend stuff. Okay, where's the uh, socket at? Let's try to get this. Okay, where's that uh, wrench? Where's the sub sixteenth? Don't run your tools over the fender. Less chance of damage. For some reason the whole fender is going like this. I know. We first we got to get these two center ones mounted and get the fender top to bottom where we want it to be. Now we about equal here. We need to go down a little bit here. Okay. See this? This needs to be bent down. So bend the damn thing down. Okay. 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 All right. Does that look better to you? So. Okay, careful. This one's on way on the inside. I know it. we're gonna have to work on it. Now, right now we're about equal front to back. Do you put your hands in here, feel it. Okay. Go on the other side, feel it from this side. See how it feels about equal right now? Yeah. Okay. Now we're off a little bit on that hole. Okay. Now this one here, we got a problem over here because see we're right up close to your fender again. So now we need to get this bracket bent down. Let me get this out of the way here a little bit. Actually, you can't be afraid to modify stuff. See how I line it right down now? I got us a lot closer here now, see. Get our fender attached. We haven't jiggled the fender any. Okay, so let's see it. Let's see if we can't get now that one lined up perfectly there. But this one's off a little bit, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Just, okay. So let's get this one back one in it and then we'll go on that other side. Okay, these are our short ones mm -hmm. here. Let me try it. I need to, we need to get this one on the other side of the tab here. This tab yeah. on the, it's on the outside. I know, just it's on the outside. It's on the outside. The fender tab's on the outside. It popped out, so. Okay. Uh, so I think before we do anything else, we got it somehow. Okay. I'm good on my side. As long as you're clear, you're good. Okay. You're at good? Yep. Okay, coming back. Q 
keys, just get the easiest stuff first. And then the ones that are way off, we'll have to deal with it. Where's that phone at? Behind me. Hello? Yes. I don't know, I have to look it up and I'm in the middle of doing something. Yes, I have them in stock. I just don't know the price. I'm going to guess they're probably around 30 to 40 bucks, somewhere in the area, but I don't know. So, yeah. Give me a call uh, a little later. I'm in the middle of doing something right now. I can't get away from it. Okay. I should have one in stock. I always keep one in stock. So just give me a call later or if you want to come by. I won't be here tomorrow. I'll be here Saturday. Okay. Bye. -bye. Okay. So. Okay. This distance feels pretty equal. Okay. So I'm going to leave this alone here, but at least we get up below the fender. We're not hitting on it now. These are all in there nice, unbound up like we were before, all bound up. Okay. Let's get over on the other side. Now, the next problem is we got this fender's way like this. Mm -hmm. Now, where are we at on the There's a lot of gap over here and none over there, so it can... I'm concerned about these holes right here, because that's what's controlling the height, it's the pitch is this here, these holes. So we need to get these to line up. Now, what's going on with that bracket here? we got to get this one bent down a little bit? No, I think this one will be okay, actually. We, yeah, it's going to be, we have, remember, we got to drop this thing a quarter inch. So this is going to be way off, and so is this one. Now, these are tight right now? Yes. Okay, so let's bend this one down a little bit on that one. I'll hold this one, and then we'll bend mine. Got it down? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, hold yours so I can bend mine on. Okay, I got a good gap on mine. No, I didn't go that far. Yeah. Let's we'll get, get some gap over there. We have to move quite a bit. Let's get some gap on that thing. You're just going down, right? Yeah, straight down. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now we got to rotate this down a little bit, try to get it more even. We're we'll probably going to have to slot these holes in the bracket down here to get it to shift where we want to be. But we can do that after we get it mounted on the bike. Okay, how far these holes are, these are all lined up. We're lined up right now? Yeah. On those? Because we're way, way off on that side. Okay, let's get these holes in here. If we're lined up, let's just get them in there, I guess. in right now. See how he dropped a little bit. Mm -hmm. I got a little clearance in there. Okay, let's get our front bolt in. Uh, we got a little L on that we had out right here. Yeah. Seven sixteenths. So now he's fighting you just gotta back up and just come in it slowly and easy and Get what you can get in there and start moving from there. The more frustrated you get, the more we do damage. Move around a little bit. Not on it. I don't feel it. There we go. Nope. Get this going in there. There it goes. I think so. We got something in there. Nope. There it is. We did have it. Okay. Let me push this one down a little bit again. Where's your wrench? Put it on there. Let's see that. Okay, a little torque on there. It's fine. Okay, now let's. How's the back one lined up? Uh, it needs to go. Fender needs to go up. Okay, get the reamer and give a little ring down. You need to go up so. Just push it in the best you can.
put the ramer through it. We'll go through now. Okay, get it in there. Got another nut. or something. Soon as not. Yeah, it's lying thread. Hmm. It wasn't much I took off, but it was enough. They're still not very friendly with each other, but it went in. Hmm. Okay, so our brackets are not even close to the same dimensioning. We're at least a quarter inch off on the on our tilt factor here, so I'm not sure where exactly the problem is at on that, but it's as you can tell, it's way the hell off. I mean, we're not going to correct that by just slotting those holes out that much. Uh, this side we might be able to lift the holes up maybe a little bit. This one I got them all the way down as far as I'll go. But we're going to have to slot the brackets out or do something different. Something is way, way the hell off. And that's built in by the upright here, not these. This is the problem. The height between here is not the same. Now we didn't lay the brackets on top of each other to see if there's a difference in height. But something obviously is off by quite a bit. But all you can do is slot things out. You got no option. Okay, let's get the uh, side bracket bent around. Or let's see what we got here. Okay, so I think around. Let's bend around a little bit. Okay, where's your ringer? Go ahead and ring that out a little bit on the fender. Sound very good. It went in? Yeah. Okay. Unscrew. <laughs> Excuse me. We got some screws out somewhere else because we're running out of screws. Um, yeah, there's should be one, two. There's the nuts. There's two nuts there. One there. Right. Yeah, three nuts. Should have been ten screws and we got only two in the bag, so. I got one right here. Okay, good. Okay, now this one here, I gotta bend this one back up a little bit here. Now we don't have the angle right here either. Where's that little crescent you're bending with? Um tweak on it. Bash the bucket or
Yeah, that lines up pretty close now. Okay, I'm going to screw. Doing that front one to make it line up. Well, these are both have about the same amount of clearance. This just needs to go over this one here's really close. That's the tilt that we're dealing with. Okay, where's our whole location on this one? I was asking. A little bit on the high side, so I'm bending it down a little bit. Yeah, we're going to do that edge. Okay. There we are. Actually, be good if we, I think if somehow the fender needs to go up on that side. Up on what? It needs to go this way. It's kind of it's it's leaning like is this. Is the back square? Our back is a square in the back. Okay, so all our twisting's in the front. It's just in the front. Okay, yeah, we're centered on the back. So as so I say, if you look at it, it actually kind of comes down and goes this way. So I think if we just okay, so if I loosen this one up a little bit here, I do the other one. Right here, I got it. Hold that up in the location you want. Let me get the other side loosen up too. Now it is going to move the back a little bit, I'm sure, what we're doing. But... Loose. Okay, what do we got? Okay. So I can stay in square. I think the whole fender just has a twist in it, but see, the problem is painted already. I can't take a twist out of the fender. It's painted. Alright, I think we'll just let me get this one here out of here. This bracket needs to be bent in a little bit. Yes. I agree. lot better. Move as far as you can. Right? Yep. Okay. Stay a little longer. Hopefully. Disappear. There it is. Oh, I can't see it. Okay. <gasps> yeah. That one's just eluding you. Like me. And it ain't working. Oh, uh, hey son. Um, in a, in a little while, buddy. In a little while. How was your? Oh no, you gotta go to work when I get home. Okay. <laughs> you better.
better get some. Did you pack a lunch already? Okay, what do we got going on this side? Yeah, you got you got your headlamp. Remember the headlamp Uncle Carlo gave you? Alright, the problem we got over here is this bracket needs to be bent. This is keeping me from bending it because I'm on a fender. Oh boy. Have... So we're gonna do what we can to we've actually moved it in a little bit. It's kind of a hard deal. They do. <clears throat> Did you give them all flashlights so they could work in the dark? So we're going to Attempt to twist this thing. Now, I can't put a wrench on here because it'll screw up the chrome, which is really, really what I want to do. Okay. The one, I, the really good one I got you, is that one? Okay. Okay, that's a really good flashlight. <clears throat> yeah. Put your fingers doing that. Did a good job, though. No, you uh, Okay. Really hard to get up in here, so it's so close to the tire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Yes, Jerry. Yes, I'm trying to. Okay. This other side over here. Get this hole here to line up now. Oh, that sounds good. That's actually pulling it down a little bit. Jam it in there. Okay. Let's see where the screw go. All right. Bend that out slightly on this side. Put a wrench under here, I might be able to bend it. So we get a nice flat wrench. Go like that, hold the fender and give it a little something like that. I got hurt a little bit doing that. It's pretty close now, probably. Yeah. It's hard to try to bend this thing and make it stay in that direction. Let me have it. It's a sudden jerk to go, but you actually move it or pull it back my way a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's get that little screw up in there. Need to go up a little higher on that one. It's actually getting a little closer. I mean. What does it look like if it pulls in right there? Yeah, it's going to help it a lot pulling in. So the, I need to bring this back up. I need to go up a little bit, just a little bit up. Okay, okay, okay. Did I move up in here? No, no really. didn't really. Okay. Manipulate a little bit. That'll raise it up a little bit, I think. Okay, try our screw. Try to the Allen. That one 
one needs to be bent a little bit. But that's Which gonna way? Help, but it's going to help pull it in when it tightens. This one's like this right now, so this tip needs to be bent in. But as you tighten, it's going to help pull the fender that way. So there's an inch it's over there somewhere. It's right over there. Take that one out. We have to bend it up a little bit. It's pretty centered. It's still a little closer on this side here, but I need to bend that bracket up a little bit. Okay. Massage upward. Don't worry about that paint cracking sound. It's all right. Mm. You're not getting nervous, are you? No, it's... No. Okay, put the screw in there. We're pretty close now with the, with the force going up. This needs to be bent, though. Here, pull it back off. There we go. We need to bend this a little bit. I heard the stuff was all bolt on. Mm -hmm. Pretty close, huh? <laughs> all right. How's the back feel? It's pretty close now, so. Yep. Almost a finger on that side, slightly more on that side, but close. Yeah, about the same as stick it in there. This, if you looked, it's not the way it's this, this, uh, haven't been out a little this bit. fender, see how it's this roll? Yeah. It stops shorter here on this side. Mm hmm. So it kind of looks like it has a bigger gap, but I don't think it does. Well, I'm looking at the width of the fender. Mm. If you put your finger like that, mm -hmm. and you put your, do the same thing on this side. It's slightly closer on this side, but it's close. But you're not going to notice that as much as the front being off. The front is pretty even now. And the height is not, there's not much of a twist in like it had it before. It's pretty even. It's definitely closer than we've had it yet. And you had these brackets bent in yet or not? These ones, you didn't do the S bend on them yet? No. I was, they both look up like they about, have about the same amount of clearance. Yeah, they're looking pretty good though. Yeah, this does have a lot more S on this side. How's our gap on the top? Looks pretty equal. Yeah. See, going by the the nut clearance, this side's actually closer than this one over here. Even though the fender might be slightly closer here, the tire is a, is different. So. I think we're pretty close. So I think now you can put all the original, put the correct hardware on here, the, mm -hmm. uh, the locking nuts that we mm -hmm. got. Definitely put blue Loctite on them mm -hmm. and tighten me everyone up. I'd start in these middle ones and work my way like we did before. Get the bottom down there first, get everything kind of mocked up a little bit of tension. And then before you tighten up, I can come over and help you. I hold the fender where I need it to be, put a little twist to it and tighten it that way and it should hold that dimension pretty good. But uh, definitely not a, not your direct bolt fit like you would think. Yeah. <laughs> like everything else, you gotta make it work. Yeah. But compared to what it was here a half hour ago, that thing's night and day difference. Yeah. Now hopefully you didn't scratch it too much, but he can touch it up, feel a little nicks here and there, obviously. But 
Yeah, well, that one's not even on the paint. That's just there. That's easy to touch that area. But that's why all this shit needs to be done before the paint job, not after. But oh well. Looks good. Yeah. Except for the ugly ass copper brake pads you got on. What'd you get them copper ones on there for? <laughs> they look like shit. I think we have to take those off and paint them black. <laughs> You need to paint them things black. <laughs> they stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, or crumb them. Yeah. <laughs> One yeah, or the other. We'll break dust. They'll, they'll cover. Remember those new pads they got now? They're chrome now? Yeah. They come in chrome? <laughs> you say, why? You can't see them. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, the new pads we're getting in there, they're coming in chrome plated. But not this version, but the Harley ones. All right, you work on that. Now I got to work on that. So right now we're playing around the jockey shift up here right now, it looks like. <laughs> Not sure why that's in the air, but oh well. All right, we can't do your foot control until we figure out what's happening here. But we need to get the, the stuff mocked up on here, the controls. Yeah. So we can figure that out, obviously, at some point. All right. Um, do you think we should put this oil drain pan uh, plug in a tank back here or just leave it kind of loose? What's that? Oh. This here. Yeah, we probably... It'd be a good idea to tighten it up. Maybe we should tighten that up a little bit. Okay, well, let me go see if I can find some kind of a washer to actually use for a ceiling. Obviously, they don't have anything. No, nothing will fit, but we'll see if we can find something to use. All right, that's it for now on that. Enough playing with this front fender for a few minutes. Where's the 